Shalom Aleichem. We're very thankful to Hashem on the great things that we are enjoying from in our lives. Every person in his place, in his hometown, with his family. We are experiencing a lot of greatness in our lives. One person is finding comfort and joy with his family. One is finding satisfaction while learning Torah. One is uh, is uh, spiritually developing and finding himself and is enjoying walking on the mountains, going to springs, to lakes. One just recovered from uh, a very hard uh, illness and he is very thankful for the great wonders that he is experiencing while recovering and feeling much better than he was. But with all that, that we do find the great things in our lives, we must remember that our people out there, that their pain and sorrow is impossible to bear. And every human being, the kindness and mercy must be so, 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 so deep and solid in his heart that he won't even be able to bear the thought of the sorrow and pain of, of another human being. It's written, Noach lo l'adam sheyashlich atzmo lekivshan ha'esh velo yalbin pnei chavero barabim. It's better, and even in the, in the way you say it in Hebrew, you say, it's more comfortable, like it's the best thing for a human being, l'adam, not for the Jew or for the Israeli, it's like to every human being that is human, it's more comfortable for him to throw himself to the fireplace, to the fire, than to insult and to shame someone else in public. To hurt another person in public, to hurt the feelings of another human being, It should be so horrible. It should be such a horrible feeling for a person that he will rather to throw himself to the fire. Those words are solid words of truth. Every one of us must understand. Today, one of my uh, children, he was arguing and fighting with his brother. It's a normal thing. In every, in every family. And um, he took something that belongs to, to his brother and hide it. He wanted to, to revenge. So when his brother started to look for that uh, object, I called him and I told him what happened. And he said, I, I took it and I hide it from him. I told him, listen. Do you remember that a few days ago he did the same thing to you? He said, yes. I told him, did you like that feeling? He said, no. I told him, okay. And do you remember that when you felt that frustration from him, that he took that thing from you and hide it for you, that you, even though that you knew that he was angry, that he's upset on you, you still did not accept the fact that he decided to take something that belongs to you and to hide it from you, right? He said, yes. So I told him, it's written, Ma alecha, al Thing that you hate, that you don't like, that someone is doing to you, don't do it to your friend. And then I told him, listen, every time that in life you find yourself thinking about halakha, a Jewish rule, a rule of, of the Bible, or a saying of the sages, an advice from the wise and righteous people, you should know that that's the truth. Don't ever violate the word of the sages, of Chachamim, of the righteous ones. Don't ever violate a code of behavior, a rule from the Bible, a commandment from the Torah. In life you will always find that in the end, the Torah was right, and we were wrong. It's better for the person to throw himself into the fire. Think about it. Get into the fire. It's so hot over there. It's crazy. How can a person stand 
one one minute of fire, one one moment of fire. Just put your finger for a second above the flaming fire on your stove top on, on above a candle, a, a match. It's impossible to bear that pain. So how can it be comfortable? How can you say that it's comfortable for the person to throw himself into the fire? It's written, Noch Lola Adam. It's comfortable for a person that is human. For a person that is human, it's so horrible to hurt another person's feeling. It's impossible for him to do something like that. If you're not in horrible pain, if you hurt someone's feeling, if you don't like want to go out of your mind completely, losing yourself, disappear, vanish from the world if you hurt someone's feeling. Still, we cannot call you human. Adam, human, is a person that for him it's more comfortable to suffer the crazy suffering of fire and not to feel that he hurt someone else's feeling. This is what we need to do. We need to work on our attributes to become more human, more nice, tolerant, sensitive, loving, respectful, caring. If we will not express the good attributes of the Creator, the light that shines from our souls into our bodies, so what's the purpose of this journey? This journey on earth meant for us to express the godliness, the good attributes of our soul, and never, never to betray the one who sent us here and treasured that wonderful, precious treasure inside of us, our good attributes, the goodness of our souls. You must share your love, you must respect, and not ever to let your fears and your pressure and your stress lead you and force you to listen to the voice of the evil inclination, the voice of negativity, of anger, of sadness, of bitterness, of rage, of all that craziness, the voices of lie, the voices of the impure, contaminated snake. Don't follow his advice. Don't ever be rude, ever be cruel, ever be violent, ever. Always just love and care and be human. Be human. I'm asking, I'm begging. Just be human. And the Creator will shine His light upon us all. Amen.